Hello fans, Damian Nelson coming to you here from the offices of the Pro Wrestling Report with a, an edition here of PWR Express. Yes, it's been a while since we did it, but we keep it special for you folks. Tonight we look at WWE Raw. Coming to you off the heels of Survivor Series from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was the night where we was advertised to be the second coming. Tonight, the night. And we saw what happened with that at the end of the show. But let's talk about the key matchups on the show and the key things on the show. First off, Shawn Michaels getting into a new program with Mr. Kennedy, which was very well executed, had a lot of heat at the intro, and going into that should be interesting down the road to see what happens between those two superstars. Then the next significant thing was Jeff Hardy versus Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship, a match that had been hyped earlier in the day and on the show, well delivered by both. A long match, and it should have been long, wrestling match where Jeff Hardy really stepped up, as did Umaga, but in the end, Snitsky of all people with the run-in to be saved by... Triple H was Jeff Hardy, of all people, seeing a little bit of that uh, play off of the Survivor Series just last night, coming back in action. Next week, we've got a big tag match. It's Umaga and Snitsky teaming up to go up against Jeff Hardy and Triple H. But, folks, the end of the night saw the torchbearer, who we'd seen all evening, on his way to the arena in Fort Lauderdale. Don't know if you could really run from Miami to Fort Lauderdale in a two-hour period, but be that as it may. He arrives, he's clotheslined, out of his boots, by an unknown man who just goes like this. We come back, we see the promo, we see Randy Orton confused, we see an amazing introduction and an amazing delivery by WWE of the returning Chris Jericho Y2J who is looking substantially different from the last time we saw him but certainly had the crowd right there, the palm of his hands and delivered an excellent promo, almost reminiscent of the way he debuted in Chicago in 1999. Jericho is back, seemingly thrust right into a feud with Randy Orton on Raw. Great Raw, I thought. Not just because we were sent home happy. I think they really delivered some good product, um, including more Santino Morella storyline development. Finley getting involved with McMahon and Hornswoggle. Carlito, uh, people are saying he's being buried, folks. I don't know what's going on with that one, but we certainly saw him in a prominent role on this week's Raw. Again, an action-packed Raw, a good Raw. Going into next week, the return of Ric Flair, Charlotte, North Carolina. Should be an emotional night. Not as emotional, I'm sure, as in Greensboro, when the Nitro, uh, the Nitro episode where the four horsemen were back together. But Ric Flair next week, coming up in the next couple of weeks, it is indeed... The 15th ever, 15 year anniversary of WWE Raw. Folks, we'll have a brand new edition of the Pro Wrestling Report for you this week right here on the website, pwrshow.com. We have updated the news link up at the top of the page back to sesscoops.com, so make sure you check that out. Also, if you haven't voted yet for the PWR honors, do so and check out the forum. Hell, it's a multimedia circus, folks. Spend some time, enjoy your time. For the Pro Wrestling Report, this is Damian Nelson. We'll see you very soon.